Now comes the part where you have to create your blog. Again, a lot of this is basically just a template. Uh, you could get rid of a lot of these things when you click on the different information. There are uh, the trash can that you can delete, or you can, you know, if you wanted to add your own pictures, your own sounds. Obviously, you are not going to have uh, these pictures there. Um, but again, the written work is going to be taken directly from your uh, fact sheet. So if you take a look, this is mine on Vermeer. In the timeline part, this is where I added some of the important dates in his life. So, when he was born, and where, when he died, uh, when he got married, April 5th, 1653. Those were important dates. Uh, the important events. That is copied right from the important people in my artist's life and why, and important events in my artist's life. I just copied out this information from these uh, questions 7 and 8, and I pasted it into my important events section. The world of my artist comes right from question number 6. Why did my artist paint this way? What was going on in the world that may have influenced, influenced your artist's style of painting? So I just copied this and pasted it in here. Style of art comes right from number five. What type of artist was he? Okay. And then, of course, your citations, where you got your information. At the end of this, I had my citations, bibliography of sources. And that is right here, and that is what I added down here. I have two websites and a book. Okay? So, to start out, I might get rid of some of this, all the paintings, so that you can then add your own. And just copy and paste into these areas the information that I had just mentioned.